today's topic is algebra of proportion in this we learn to how many laws are there there are totally nine laws are there before going with the laws what do you mean by duality law so the duality is nothing but opposite opposite means the symbol remember here the dual of the component proportion contain only a logical operation it is for conjunction disjunction okay will be replaced by another symbol for example when it is uh, if it is for a conjunction means dis disjunction symbol the dual is disjunction symbol when it is for a disjunction symbol means the dual is conjunction symbol when it is for a true means false false means true so it is denoted by the symbol it is a star the dual will be denoted by the symbol a star how to write the dual i have given a two example try the dual of equivalence for a first case i think the dual is very easy okay negation as it is the bracket and all you should not do anything negation of p only you should not change this the variable only proportion you should not change it instead of conjunction i am going to write a disjunction okay q bracket as it is instead of a disjunction conjunction okay negation as it is instead of conjunction negation disjunction okay i am changing only the symbol disjunction conjunction equivalence as it is p also as it is this is the dual of the given question same way one more now when i am able to write for this question what is the dual means p as it is instead of conjunction disjunction negation q as it is instead of a disjunction conjunction q as it is disjunction false means true okay so complete it. this is the duality law so there are nine laws when you come with the laws of algebra what is a primal and dual only one set of formulas you remember the opposite will be the other set dual will be the primal opposite okay only one set of the formulas you have to remember what are all the nine laws means idempotent law identity law dominant law complement law commutative law associative law distributive law and absorption law and de Morgan's law using this law only without a rule table the next topic we will be seeing the problems related to this law only so for that you have to remember this formula then only we can do the problems related to the laws so now first item put and law means it's easy to remember when you have a, a only proportion the same p only one variable p means it is item put and law okay like that you can remember for example p okay, i will use some other symbol for writing the formulas okay now p small p p is uh, this section 2p okay you get its equivalence to same p it is called as a item potent law it's a primal dual how we have to write okay first i will write all the formulas related to primal then dual i will show you easily we can write it okay so identity law means how to write the identity law okay so the identity law what we write it means when it is p proportion okay? so when p small p is a this section to f what statement then we get the same p it is called identity law next dominant law is nothing but p is this section to true then you get the answer to be true it is called as a dominant law when complement law is nothing but p everything small p p is dissection to negation p when you get true okay so it is called as complement law commutative law everyone know it is a to b b to a so the same thing p is dissection to q is equivalence this is called equivalence q it's this section to p so completed associative it's a three brackets okay change only the symbol of the brackets okay with respect to three variable p decision to q is decision to r it is equivalence to p decision to q decision to r completed only three variables bracket will change 
distributive law only this is here same symbol distributive when you have both uh, conjunction and distinction means you have to use your distributive law for example p is uh, this section to q conjunction to r i am using all the two symbols in a single formula itself then we can write p is uh, this section to q conjunction p is this section to r okay so that is called as distributive law observation law when you have p is this section to p Conjunction to Q, which is equivalence to same P. It is subsection law. D modulus law always is a negation. P is a discussion to Q, equivalence to negation P, conjunction over Q. Okay, so completed. The same set of formula, we write it in terms of opposite symbol, dual. Okay, so for example, I will show you. Only one set you study, then it will be other set it is easy. Now I have to change only the symbol. Same variable, no change. Okay, same here. here. But true means false. For the formula, you can apply it somewhere. Uh, primal only will apply somewhere. Uh, only dual will apply. It's our option only. See, I am not doing anything. Only changing instead of conjunction, destruction. Instead of destruction, conjunction. completed so related to